it is what it is. It is what it is. You gotta stay fresh. You gotta take. You gotta take showers. You gotta. You gotta. You know, quality soaps. Wash everything, and then rinse off and wash everything again. I can't stress it enough. You know what I'm saying? Stay fresh. Quality. Quality gel. If you still got hair, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm Forty years old, and uh, I count the wool. You know, tents for camping. Can't stress that enough. Take that to the bank. Cash it twice. I mean, I'm not a fucking cop, but you're a cop. And uh, everything else in between. I mean, you know, you have to stop the gouge. And uh, is what it is. There's no cigars in prison. You know, people people want to talk shit to Richie. And then they realize Richie was right all along. And hey, is what it is. Is what it is. It is what it is. So we're here in the bright sun. Oh man, that's a bright sun. And my thing is breaking here. Oh shit. I gotta, I gotta get a new stand. High quality. That's high quality. Chinese plastic. We are reviewing. We are reviewing. We are reviewing the Diamond Crown. Uh, in a Fat Boy Robusto. Five and a maybe change. By 54, uh, provided to us generously by Dream Life. Uh, what a nice mid to late afternoon cigar to have. I went out to my missus, took me out for a barbecue in uh, some fucking hippie dippy town. That is what it is. And uh, it was nice. It was nice. I had one margarita, and that's it. That's it. So, true Connecticut uh, rapper. Um, which is said rather expensive. Uh, Dominican binders and the fillers is from five areas. It said Caribbean, somewhere else, maybe to now. Five areas in the world. There's five areas. It's a, that'd be a good name for a cigar. The five areas cigar. It's, it's, don't, it don't, comes from five different areas, all right? Anything more, I can't tell you. But I need to know fucking basis. It is for, it's not a fucking joke. See, Richie think people think Richie and me is Richie and you, but people think Richie it's an act. And, and you know, you know, even though I make it entertaining, it's not an act. I'm I'm as real as it gets. Like I'm not a bitch. I can't stress it enough. I've been around. I've been around town, and I can make your father frown because I've been around your mom. I'm your father. That's right. Richie's your dad. No, that part. See, that part was a joke at the end, but. The first part wasn't. And somewhere in between is the fucking joke. It is what it is, right? You can't stress that enough. Um, high quality cigar. I've never had the Diamond Crown Connecticut. I'm looking forward to it. And I have a nice motherfucking coffee here. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever the fuck flavor that is, it's, it's an espresso. So, it's going to be a nice afternoon with this. Yeah, I can't stress it enough. If you think, if you think in real life you would step to Richie and uh, think he's a bitch, in real life, on the street, I, I, I can't stress it enough. In real life, in real life, in real life, there's consequences. But I'd rather get along and be peaceful. Have a Connecticut shade vibe. Chill the fuck out, man. Creamy nuttiness, but that sounds kind of four five one, but more of like the vibe. What do you say, you was Richie, were you for? No, I'm saying that it's a chill profile. I know, you still say something about nuts and so shut the fuck up. Anyways, soft gentle heat. All these phrases, you think Richie made all these phrases? I didn't make anything, only God made. After that, we could only, at best, copy. God created man and woman, right? But he said, man, he said, woman. We can meet a woman, give the woman our meat, and maybe we'll get a, a, a child that will end up being a male or female. And then after they grow up and go to college in a liberal town, then they can be whatever they want to be, a unicorn. And that's that. And you can change whatever you want in life. 
But you can't change if you're stupid. Stupid is permanent. I mean, they even got a pill for AIDS. There's no pill for stupidity. Cyanide. <laughs> oh, it's freedom of speech scaring him. Mmm, creamy. Cedar. Mild black pepper smell. Very nice. Slowly toasting this up. I've waited 40 years to try a diamond crown natural. That's the question. Great draw. It is a fuente. It's not going to be a strong spell. It's a diamond crown. Connecticut. It's not a Maximus. But boy, oh boy. I'm the richest man in town right now. Sitting here with the Quattro Cinco. Drinking coffee. I had a friend that he take me out for lunch. I should count my motherfucking blessings, right? I'm sitting here. I should count my blessings. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for that. Oh, boy, am I a sinner. Chief sinner. But someone out there wants me to turn around. See, it's not your fault that you're a sinner. It's not. Because this world is a fallen world. See, since it's a fallen world, you're surrounded by permanent temptation. Although some temptation doesn't work on me. Like 451, that doesn't work for me. Like if, you know, if Gio was in a dress, it wouldn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. Even if you offer like a point, it doesn't work for me. That's a beautiful cigar. Of course, if you want to increase the intensity of any cigar, you shrink the diameter. I can't stress it enough. Well, that's not true, Richie. Yeah? Yeah? Did you ever see a garbage truck? They throw all the garbage, but then they, the garbage truck in the back goes, and it compacts it. Do you think that it's more or less intense as it compacts it, as there's less room in that garbage compact? If you were in the garbage pack, if somebody, not me, Let's say somebody I know throws you in the back of a fucking garbage truck. And you're like, oh, no, please, oh, no, please, please. And then somebody fucking closes it. It's going to shrink the diameter. And now you're in the shrinkage. Do you think uh, your experience there will be more or less intense? I, I can't stress this enough. As you, as you compress anything, you increase the intensity. I can't stress that enough. People, I mean, this is Colorado, so for the Midwest, it's a big state. It's ain't shit to New York. You know how much space is out here? Go up the fucking mountains. I got five fields around my house where they used to grow fucking wheat or whatever the fuck. It's, it's very chill. And then you go to New York. Not so fucking chill. Because you can either decrease the size and keep the same volume, increase the intensity, or you can increase the volume and not increase the size, though, and now it's over fucking filling. Either way, 6 1. You know, you know, you get what I'm trying to say, though. Although I think shrinking the size of something gives people a sense of impending doom and says that the intensity increases. Right? If you were on a boat and that boat started decreasing size, I don't know how this is happening. I don't know if it's width or length, or maybe it's just fucking sinking. That would be easy. I'm not gonna sink your boat. What I'm trying to say is, it's gonna start getting more intense. I, I just can't stress it enough. As, as a man has less room, intensity goes up, right? If every guy had an acre in prison, a little farm, and you'd be like, listen, stay on the farm. You got an acre of land, you're gonna be here 20 years. Relax, whatever you wanna do. You know, you your acre of land. You got a little river, you got some trees. Relax. But well, you gotta be here 20 years, I'm telling you. So why is prison so intense? 
you shrunk the size, there's less room per man, less space. Same thing with a cigar. Tobacco's tobacco, motherfucker. And of course, we can play with seeds. Different mother, same father. Same father, different mother. Same mother, different father. Different mother. Whatever the fuck. The point is this. Um, when you crowd a bunch of, of anything to an area, the more room it has, the less intense it is. The less room it has, the more intense it is. Now, as far as what's better, well, that brother, I, I can't tell you. For you. For me, obviously, I'm not expecting an intense, you know, experience out of a Connecticut Chain cigar. It's not, Connecticut Chain cigars aren't offering that kind of uh, cigar. It is offering a beautiful experience, a golden, rich, luscious, creamy vanilla, slightly nutty, almost like a pretzel, sourdough kind of vibe, a little salt. Strength is a gentle medium. Toasted almonds, you know, beautiful, but not strong. So the question is, should you smoke a cigar like this? Uh, I say yes, but learn when to use it, all right? Connecticut, beautiful Connecticut cigars is a diplomatic option. It's like maybe if, uh, you know, two countries, before they go to war, they could, but maybe they have a diplomatic option. They smoke Connecticut cigar, and they're like, this is pretty peaceful. Like, listen, we can both smoke cigars, and we can have a relaxing time, right? We gotta go full AJ Fernandez, and uh, it is what it is. But then, this thing is bending. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. It's like the most angry Connecticut shade cigar I've ever had in my life. So what I'm trying to say is... Fuck. What was I trying to say? Connecticut Shade Cigars. I'm ruining the vibe now. You see that? How I am. Fucking shit. Okay, look. So you gotta learn one to enjoy a cigar. These kind of cigars for peacetime. But there is a time for war. And, uh, Caramel's coming in right now, too. Quite nice. A quite beautiful in, in this diameter, surprisingly. 54. Um, so, a more milder cigar for when you want a peaceful time or trying to make a peaceful time or if you're in a peaceful time. Um, and then there's times for Padron. There's times for just send it. Pop safety is what it is. Oof, David Copperfield. We're back as the sun sets. Beautiful time. Well, it's not that really setting. Shut the fuck up, Rich. The sun, I mean, it is slowly setting, but we're not at sunset. What I'm trying to fucking say is the sun's in my fucking face. Anyways, it's probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful cigar. Perfect construction. Perfect draw. Here's a point. Look at that chiseled ash. I mean, look at that. I mean... As good as you could get construction. Cigar. Um, this cigar. Um, for, since we left, the cigar picked up, but it's had a nice solid medium. With change of the solid medium, it's pushing all the flavors enough. The volume, Sako, is at enough level we can hear all the notes. Nuttiness. And more like a cashew. Really nice. Uh, very nice nuttiness. Uh, it's creamy. The black pepper is enough. Thanksgiving dinner level. You want some black pepper on your, on your, I don't know, your turkey? Yeah, sure. Put it on, yeah, on the potato. Put it on everything. Black pepper goes on everything. Uh, but the finish is long. And I can't say it's a super heavy finish, but as heavy as you can make a Connecticut finish, a Connecticut shade. So it's, 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 it's the flavor sticking around. I definitely like it better 
that this thing is trying to go down to my nuts. This is thing 451. I gotta retape it. The tape is breaking. The tape is going. Son of a bitch. Alright, look, it's a really good Connecticut. 4.7. Within the Connecticut world, it's a great Connecticut. If you like cigars like Atabay, you'd like this cigar. You spend a lot less money too, and it is a high-end Fuente product. Um, if you like cigars like uh, Davidoff, you spend less money on this, and it's a great quality Connecticut. Uh, not a strong cigar by any means, but it's definitely not um, a weak Connecticut within Connecticut shape. You know, like the regular Ashton White Label, which is a good cigar, but that's more of a even a lighter Connecticut. So I would choose the, the, the Diamond Crown Connecticut over there, a regular Aston White. Um, this thing, I have to fix the tape. That's annoying. Son of a, son of a bitch. That's it. The tape lasted three days. I gotta retape it. I gotta retape it. This thing's trying to, like the thing is like trying to get to my nuts. What's wrong with the sun is my eyes. The sun is in this thing. What, what am I, what am I, am I dying? Is Richie crossing over? Am I crossing, God, is this it? I'm ready, God. Is it my time? Beautiful cigar. As, as I transcend um, to my next life and I leave my body here, clearly I'm going to the light. Um, yeah, what a happy, beautiful cigar. Beautiful char line, fantastic construction. Flavor sticks to the tongue. Very nice. Very beautiful. Um, the bready note, uh, slight salty. Reminds me a little of a pretzel, though, the kind of bread. Uh, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Um, cedar, rich, dry cedar. So, oh, you know, just the mildest hint of earthiness. So, overall, it's, it's, overall, it's about 60% the darkness. You know, it, it, it's a true classic Connecticut, but with really nice pronunciation. The flavors it has is doing it very well. I've had a lot of Connecticut's, and this is one of the better ones. Uh, it is what it is. If you like this, you'll like the Cohiba Connecticut, another high-end Connecticut cigar. Mm. Yeah, it's just a happy, beautiful cigar. Medium strength, 60% darkness, long finish, and as heavy as you can make a regular Connecticut finish. It is what it is. It's nice. I recommend it. Price point, oh shit. With these around like $13 to $15, give or take, you're not gonna find these gouges, and these are gonna be available. So maybe try it in a skinnier gauge, and maybe it'd be even a little more intense to your liking, you know? Or go bigger, quiet it down. I mean, you do what you want. But great construction, perfect but fronty construction, for God's sakes. We've established Fuente pretty much has the best construction. Fuente and Atabe. Their, their burn is the best. Yeah, just a little sweetness too with the creamy vanilla and the little toffee, the caramel. It's really nice. That char line is impressive. That char line is impressive. That sun is is here. It's bright. I, I can't even see the screens glaring. I'm blind. This is a blind review. I cannot see because the sun is glare. The sun is so strong in Colorado. The sun is glaring on my phone and then reflecting on my face. So right now, that's the sun. My phone is the Earth, and I guess I'm the moon. Right? That's what they say that happens. That the uh, light from the Earth reflects off the earth and then reflects on the moon, which is bullshit. That's bullshit. That's not how it works. They're lying to you. It is what it is. I'll come back. Fuente, look at that sun, the glare. Wow. Phenomenal construction. Really nice, beautiful. Connecticut cigar. If you love true Connecticut cigars, um, the flavor sticks to the teeth. It, it look, it's, it, it's heavy for a Connecticut, but it's not a heavy cigar on the feel. But the flavor's long, 
Uh, it does not, it's not a dry, um, grassy feel at all. Really nice fermentation on this. Um, they definitely aged the wrapper and the tobacco uh, enough to where I consider this a luxury Connecticut. So it's up there with the Ashtons, it's up there um, with Tres Fuente, it's up there with Davidoff. Um, and it's a, when you factor in that, the price point this is stupid. So for a higher end Connecticut, sub $15 for a luxury cigar, hey, 4.7 box worthy. It's what it is. Perfect Fuente construction. Contracted by J.C. Newman. The Diamond Crown Natural was the first cigar for, G for the Diamond Crown series. Uh, made, well, it came out in 95 from what I did research what the owner said in the 90, 1990 the uh, owner told uh, Carlos uh, he'd like to have a high-end Connecticut uh, with or fermentation and make it a 54 gauge and back then that wasn't popular and uh, it sold like hotcakes and it's still around 30 years later it is what it is great cigar I'm gonna end it with this I could keep on smoking this ash test I don't know <laughs> Wow. Wow, fuck. <laughs>